FrameMaker 10 gives you the ability to insert multiple children with one click of a button. Let me show you how this works. I'm going to click on File, Open, and open up an example file in which I've actually modified an existing sample file that lives on your system when you install FrameMaker 10. It's called Self Publish. So I'm going to open up Self Publish and give you an idea of what I did. If I scroll through this document, what you'll notice at the very end of the document is an approval line. If I opened up the structured view, give you an idea of the structure that's in place. I made some modifications to the sample EDD, and I'm going to provide that on my blog, which is tmaldous, A-L-D-O-U-S, dot com and you'll see that what I've added is the ability to insert an approval element and what happens is FrameMaker will automatically insert the approve status approve date and release date elements with just one click what you see is the formatting and how it looks based upon rules that I placed into the EDD now I've also added additional rules where we could change a value in the attribute at the highest level and make this look dramatically different. So let's just walk through and I can show you exactly what the insertion process looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click back on the structured view and I'm going to select the approval element. All of the nested children elements get selected also and I'm going to hit delete. Now what you'll see is I'm at the end of the structure so what I want to do is I want to insert an approval element in which I made available with the change to the EDD. So I'm going to click on approval and what you see is we have the look of basically a list of approval status, approval date, release date. Now if we look at the structured view you'll notice again we've just spilled out all of the elements that are required within the approval parent. We have multiple attributes and these attributes are choice attributes for the most part except for the very first element approve is really just a place where you can type in text. So I'm going to drop in my name Tom Aldous. I'm going to select status and click on attribute and change the status of that attribute. It gets populated in my document real time when I do that. I'm going to click back into my structure, click in approval date, click on attribute. I'm going to change the date, day, month, year. As I do that, it gets updated real time. I'm going to click on the structured view again, click on release date, and click on attributes, and change these values also. Now, what we have is the ability to drop in full substructures with one click of a button. Formatting really is affected by the EDD. Let me show you one other uh, addition that I made to this EDD that gives this substructure a different look and feel. If I were to scroll up to the top of the document, what I want to do is I want to click at the top just so you can see the structure. Here's the highest level element chapter. I've added a version attribute. It's right now selected as edit. I'm going to change that to publish. Now if I were to look down to the approval element, what you'll see is we have a completely different look and feel. If I were to click off the text symbols, the borders, and the rulers, you have a better feeling for how it's going to look when it's printed out. Now let's do this one more time. Let's go back up to the top of the document. Let's click on structured view. Let's click on the version attribute and change it to edit. Same structure and content within that structure, just a different look and feel. Only in frame 10 do we have the ability to drop in full substructures with one click of a button. Thank you very much. Feel free to review the video again. 
I'm going to leave the EDD and all required files on my blog. So download them, go through the EDD, and, and, and look to see how I actually made the transformation of this approval element by just changing the attribute at the highest level element. It's the first five pages that I've uh, made these changes. Thank you very much.